Yo guys, welcome back to another video. As you've seen by the title, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to turn your regular bike into a wheelie bike, alright? Right? And we're probably a lot of thinking, what is a wheelie bike, alright? A wheelie bike is something that is comfortable for you to just wheelie like bikes they're just made to just ride yeah but you guys want to make it comfortable for you guys to actually wheelie and do your tricks comfortably all right so in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that and it's going to be on a low budget all right of course we've got mr little harry behind the camera we just filmed his video on how to wheelie check that out the link will be in the description but let's get to the video what bike are you doing it on today i'm doing it on a c100 all right and now a lot of you got your c100s all right you're thinking yo what colour should I do it? I want to get new rock shocks, new hurt wheels, like Mr. Harry right here. Look at his bike. Yeah, you see the vibes, you see the vibes. All pimped out, all out, but it's cool. It's cool. Forget about little Harry, alright? You don't have to have don't an have expensive to. bike to be able to wheelie. You don't have to. At if you, all. If you want a wheelie, like Harry, me, RJ, Kamal, anyone at all, Trad, you don't have to have expensive bike. Trizzy? Parts. Trizzy, anyone. You don't have to have expensive bike. Alright, so let's just get into the video on how to turn your bike into a wheelie bike. If you can already wheelie, it doesn't matter what bike you got. Me and Solomon can jump on any bike and wheelie, right? Exactly. Any bike. I can jump on any bike. So, That's how comfortable I am. Yeah. Right? So, let's get into the video, guys. Cool, guys. The first tip, yeah, the first thing that you're going to do is your seat, all right? Now, I can't even lie. I've had a lot of you... I've, I've been riding for a long time, right? I've been seeing a lot of you, right? Your seat's not the wrong way like this, <laughs> but your seat is tilted back like this. Now, come <laughs> on, guys. How the hell are you wheeling like that? Like, Lean look back. at the seat, all right? Look, gun leaning this on the seat. This seat needs to be tilted forward, all right? You see that? Forward. You see the way this is? You see the way this not is Not forward, forward, down. Down, down. And you know what the thing is, yeah? Quick thing. Ah. Oh. So if you've got a seat like if you've got a C100, you've got a seat like this, alright? You've got one and two, alright? What gonna, you're gonna do. You're gonna loosen the back bolt and yep. tighten up the front bolt. Exactly. See there the back one has a lot of thread there? It's loosened up. The front, nothing there because it's all tightened up. That means it is tilted forward. That makes it more comfortable for you guys to wheelie, do anything you want on your back. With your seat being like this, when you're in the wheelie position, when your seat is angled down like this on two wheels, think when you're wheeling, it goes up to straight. So it's more comfortable. Exactly. So guys, step number two is, is the height of your seat, all right? Now, I've seen a lot of you, you guys have got different bikes. Some of you got SE bikes, Mafia, C100s, all right? When you've got, say for example, an SE bike, all right? When you want to learn how to do stuff like swerving, I would say you should lift your seat up to a comfortable height, all right? So this is not SE bike, but somewhere around here, all right? That's when you're first learning. I'm seeing a lot of you guys with your seat all the way down low. Now, if your seat's all the way low, that's not always comfortable because you're just seeing people with their seat low and thinking, yeah, I'm going to do that. Everyone's not the same. So what you're going to do, you're going to find the right height for your seat to either lift it up, put it down, anywhere you want. But you don't always need to keep it too low or too high. Find a comfortable spot for you. Then if you want to lower it later on, you can do that. It's up to you, but don't always follow what everyone else is doing. Just because my seat is low, doesn't mean that your seat needs to be low. Third tip guys on how to turn your bike into a wheelie bike. That what, what I recommend, remember this is on a low budget, so I'm not gonna recommend anything too expensive for you guys, all right? Fix licks. Fix licks, all right? <laughs> these guys, these tires are called fix licks, all right? Mine is 29 Let me, let me inch. show them why, why they are called fix licks. Because See they're that? thick and they're Can you get a fresh trim and it's like Velcro head? That's what See? they're like, look, so smooth. Yep, yep, you get me, you get, you get me, you get we got Mr. RJ over there. Oh. Come on, we got Mr. RJ over here. Now, uh, RJ, tell us, what ties, what ties does RJ have? Fix it as well. Come What's on. What's going on? I'm doing my video on how to turn yeah. your bike into a wheelie bike. Yeah. 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 So I'm doing a video on how to turn your bike into a wheelie right, bike. Tell this guy about fix it. He needs to tell me about them. Like, excuse me. Do you know about fix licks? Do you know about fix licks for your tires? They're very good bike tires. You know, you, you know, you see when you want to learn how to wheelie? A wheelie. Wheelie. You know what wheelie is? Uh, on your back wheel? Yeah, on yeah. your back wheel. Where are you from? Australia? Yeah. Knew it! Gotta go. Gotta go. Cheers. Yeah. Catch some kangaroos. Yeah, yeah, could I do it? Remember the seat thing I was telling you guys about? Look at RJ's seat. This one is down right. like a bulldog's face. Exactly. Okay, cool. So guys, 
Look, look at Harry's seat is low. <laughs> yeah, my one's pretty low, I can't lie. Harry's seat is low, my seat is low, RJ's seat is high. All right, and we all roughly do the same thing. So that's why I said, put your seat to comfortable height. That why is, is your seat high? Yeah, it's just cruising position. Yeah. Exactly, it's mm. comfortable. Comfortable, very comfortable. For RJ. Yeah. For RJ. Maybe not for me, maybe not for Harry, but for RJ. All right, cool. So as I was saying about the fix mix, these fix mix are only what, 21 pound? Yeah, each, 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 £21 each. Then if I'm Niren, Backshack, Leighton, Edward Cycles, Paradise Cycles, Paradise Cycles, come on. You can get these tyres £21 each, 42 for the pair. I recommend them because look how smooth they are. They are so, when you're riding, wheeling, they're just smooth tyres. Even if you're doing yeah. your combos, yeah, alright? that you can't do. I can. I can. Alright. Gotta be smooth, mate. Smooth tyres no, and that. No. Okay. Yeah, it's a cool. Fix Nicks. RJ, come. Back it, back it. Back it, man. <laughs> well, guys, Fix Nicks, I recommend them. They're very smooth tyres. They're good. And then I wouldn't recommend you to get any other tyres. But in the wet, in the rain. Wait, what else do people like? Hookworms. Hookworms. They're good. They're quite heavy. The hookworms are thick. Hookworms are really thick. So I would still recommend Fix Nicks, but. Hookworms, fix sticks, they're all good tyres, but in the rain, fix sticks are quite slippery. But hookworms or fix sticks are good tyres for you to get into. Let's get to the next tip. So let's get into the fourth tip. The fourth tip is going to be about the stem. Oh shit. The stem and the brake. Alright, the stem, when you get a C100, I'm going to show you guys a picture right now of what the stem looks like right now. Cool. So when you get the stem, you've probably just seen that the stem is like all the way out here, right? Yeah, like a very, like your mom's broomstick. Very long, my mom's broomstick, all right. So when you first get your bike, it could be like that. <laughs> what I've done, what RJ's done, what Harry's done, we've all got shorter stems because we're all quite small people, all right? So we've got a shorter stem, but when you're someone tall and long, yeah, you're going to want to keep that long stem. Even though it might not look good, you can upgrade to a better stem if you want. But the stem, I would say when you get your when you first get your C100, get a shorter stem. It's really worth it. it you'll feel more comfortable, the back will feel more right here. Instead of feeling out there. You know what I'm saying? And then the next thing I'm gonna mention is brake. Alright, now I've got my brake right here. Some people I see their brakes like way out there or like way in here. And like I'm thinking, how the hell are you guys wheeling? So I'll just have it pretty much in the middle. So right? like a finger, like a little finger length nearly. Yeah, pinky finger length. See, that's my pinky finger length. Some people, you guys got long pinkies, you know. See, <laughs> lots of pinkies will be out here and that. But like, just look at it and you should know. Look at the space between the bit, right? Yeah, that's actually, pinky. yeah, that's actually, yeah. Come on. But you know, with your long pinkies, just, nah. Find someone else with a short pinky. Thank Damn. you guys for watching this video and that's going to be the end of this video.